Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put together a couple of the components that are going to go inside the computer. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, we have an optical drive or a CD DVD drive. Uh, we have our uh, hard disk drive, okay, and we have our power supply. So let's go ahead and get to building. Uh, so we have, um, we're just going to go ahead, we cut all these out, so we have the two pieces of every component, each one of these components has uh, two pieces to it. Okay, and it has a few tabs to fold up. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and do the CD drive first here. Okay, so you notice I'm just folding all the tabs in towards the white part of the, uh, the back of the paper. Uh, and that's um, normal here. Okay, so get everything in. All right, so we're just going to tape what we can on the first side here. <coughs> Over, a little bit over, don't worry about it. Um, okay, then on the second one, we're just going to go ahead and tape everything on. Uh, just remember that, you know, so this is going to go together just like this. Um, just remember that if, you know, you can't get to one of the tabs, it's okay to uh, just tape it on the outside. So it's a bit of a trick to get to some of these, um, some of these different tabs. Um, what I would suggest doing is just, uh, just go ahead and try to uh, uh, do the best you can. I like to just uh, kind of zip it up almost like this, and just try to get to as many as you can. And then the last couple, you're just going to have to uh, tape on the outside. So. Um, one good way to do it is just put the tape in like that, kind of pull it up, and then uh, get your fingers in there and um, try to tape it together as best you can. Okay, so it should fold up just like this pretty nicely. Um, okay, and then uh, don't be afraid to put some tape on the outside. Those tabs will kind of pop everything open just a little bit. They kind of create a little bit of a um, surface on the inside there. Okay, remember, this is a representation of a CD drive, so really we're just we just need to know that the components there. That uh, and kind of this is going to help you get a visual or on what the what it actually looks like. Okay, so there's our CD drive. Okay, now the process for the hard disk drive is uh, very, very similar. Okay, so there is our finished version of our CD drive. All right. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and do our uh, hard disk drive next. Okay, so put this aside. And we're just going to go ahead and start folding up our tabs. Hard disk drive is a little bit smaller. Um, so it's a little bit harder to put together. Um, just gonna go ahead and keep folding it up. Uh, and these are actual, you know, these are pretty to scale. Um, it's not gonna be exactly to scale, but these are uh, representative of the sizes of the hard drives that you might see in a desktop computer. Um, generally, the hard drives are, uh, there are basically two different sizes of hard drives. One's for a laptop and one's for a desktop. Now we're in the final couple of years here for do, for um, for this type of hard drive. Of course, the new type of hard drive is the uh, is a solid state hard drive. Um, but you know you'll see still see, so you're still going to see these hard drives for another couple of years. And then of course the solid state hard drives will fit right in. You know because the existing base. You know it's going to take another couple of years for the interior of the computers to change a little bit. You still have aftermarket hard drives that will need to fit into the existing cases, stuff like that. So here's, these will be around for a little while. Um, okay, and so of course it's a three and a half inch hard drive or a 3.5 inch hard drive. Um, whereas um, the CD drives that go in the bays of the computer, you know, in the front of your computer right here, uh, those are five and a half inch. Um, and then generally what you'll have inside of a computer, we'll do a little bit differently because it's a paper computer, but you know, every, um, proprietary 
uh, maker, you know, like your HP or your Dell will have uh, different types of structures inside the cases, They're usually rails or some kind of system to hold these in place. Uh, we're not going to go into that here, but um, okay, so you can kind of see how this hard drive is going to come together at this point. Um, stuff as square as possible because when we're putting out everything together later it's going to really help us out to have everything kind of squared up. Um, you know not have a lot of and not have a lot of different stuff um, um, not square. So you can see how this is just going to fold right up just like that. <coughs> Um, you'll notice also on the hard drive, um, I was kind of, um, we wanted to make sure that the, uh, you know, this is serving an educational purpose more than anything. So some of the, some of the, um, the components don't look exactly real. Um, and a good example of this is this hard drive. Um, so if I can taped here, I'll turn it over and show you what I mean. Um, okay, a good example of that is on this side of the hard drive. You know, that, that's, a, that's a picture of the interior of the hard drive. You would never see that. Um, you know, if you looked at a hard drive, if you saw that, the hard drive would already be broken. <laughs> Unless you worked in some kind of a lab. A hard drive is a very clean environment inside. You can't just open it up and fix it. Um, you know, CD drive is arguable. You can sometimes open those up and, and replace some of the components. A hard drive is different. A hard drive is completely sealed at the factory. You need factory conditions to open that up. So we have a photo of what it looks like on the inside, the platters uh, and that type of thing. So, okay, so there we have the, the hard disk drive. Okay, it's a one terabyte hard disk drive, so that is, uh, Modern, of course, um, for 2012. Um, of course, every seems like every couple of months, it's a new. Now instead of gigabytes, it's how many terabytes you have. Um, of course, that'll just get bigger and bigger. Okay, so now we have our. Uh, this is going to be our power supply, of course, um, and this is going to be, you know, similar size to what you see in a power supply. Of course, power supplies you don't ever want to take apart. Um, uh, power supplies are probably, as far as working on a computer, a power supply is probably the most dangerous thing on your computer, um, except for a monitor. And the reason is, is that power supplies hold electrical uh, current even when they're off. So they have a, a, a component called a capacitor. And a capacitor holds electrical current even when, even after the electricity has been turned off. And in order to work on a you ever want to open up a, a power supply and work on it or just look at it, um, you have to make sure to discharge those capacitors and you can get, you can get injured uh, quite badly in some cases. Um, so um, that's where a paper power supply offers a lot of benefits. <laughs> okay, so we are going to go ahead and um, just finish up our last little one right here quickly. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go finish taping this up, um, and then we're going to add our wires onto the back of the, onto the power supply. So, and a lot of times this is one of the most confusing things. You know, in a new computer, what you have to remember on a power supply is that power supplies are meant to be um, kind of multi-purpose um, devices, right? So the power supply, really you're buying it because it's versatile, okay, and part of that versatility is to have a lot of power connectors coming out of the back of it. So what seems confusing on the surface, that means a lot of wires coming out of the back of the, this box here, is really, you know, you're getting what you paid for. Uh, you're getting the versatility um, that you want, okay? Because you don't want to, um, you know, have a computer, especially if you're building your own computer. You know, let's, let's face it, you know, this is a, a hobbyist type thing, or, you know, if it's, it's in a professional environment, it might be some type of thing where building a server for your company, um, and even that really doesn't happen a whole lot these days. You know, with, in a cloud environment, 
um, you know, you're probably, unless you're the one running the cloud, uh, <laughs> um, but but you might run into certain environments where you need like a testing server inside of your office or something, you know, that's not a production machine. Uh, you might run into this case where you actually need to build these things. And uh, so, so what you don't want to run into with the power supply is you don't want, you know, a couple years down the line, you're trying to add a new a hard drive and you find out, well, hey, it would have been nice if I had a power connector for this additional hard drive, because uh, now I gotta build a whole new computer you know, you want to make sure. Okay, so on our paper computer here, so I'm adding the um, the connectors on the back. You'll notice this connector has a little round space right there. Okay, so we're just gonna fit it on. It makes a nice circle on the on the actual uh, um, power supply here. Okay, so my pontificating on power supplies, notwithstanding, there is our paper's power supply. Okay plenty of room for expansion, uh, of course, because price was no object on this paper computer. I got us a good paper supply, or <laughs> I got us a good power supply. <laughs> okay, so there we are. We got all our power connectors, we got our power supply, we got our hard drive, got our optical drive, and we have our SATA connectors. Good luck. <laughs>